Hello again everyone and welcome to the 11th video in this series of videos which will help you complete the Level 2 Essential Skills Wales ICT qualification. Now in the last video I left you basically to create the first draft of your presentation. So we looked at some of the skills, that, well we looked at the skills that you must include in your presentation in the first draft and hopefully now what you will have done is you will have created a five slide presentation basically pitching your idea as to why you want to improve the common room and how you're going to do it. You should also include information that you found from your spreadsheet. So in this case like I did the breakdown of the costs but yours could be I don't know, ind individual items of furniture, something along those lines, but something that you've found from your spreadsheet. So the next thing that we need to do now, and this is a good work in practice, and it is something that you will need to evaluate that you have done at the end of the project, is um, emailing. Okay, one of the skills you must show is emailing, and the good work in practice in there is that you're receiving feedback from an, from an outsider, okay, somebody with an outside perspective on your work. Because obviously when we create our work we have our own vision in mind, but sometimes it might not necessarily be appropriate and somebody else might have some ideas to help you improve. So what you need to do is you actually need to email your teacher. The, um, let's close that down. You need to email your teacher with an attachment of the first draft of your presentation requesting feedback. Now there's a couple of things that you must include on that email. So if I go to my emails here, I've emailed Mr. Eaton. And if I go into the email, first of all, the one that I sent. Okay, so I included a subject. You must include a subject. And you must also include a CC. Now a CC is a carbon copy, in case you didn't know, which sends an identical email to another person. So I've sent one to Miss Olson Jones. Now, you must obviously include the attachment of the draft presentation, because if you don't send it, how can they possibly give you feedback? Then, the body of, um, of the email must be professional. So there's no good saying, I am mate, can you please send me some feedback on my work, cheers, so and so. It's gotta be professional. So, but hello Mr. Eaton, I've recently made a presentation uh, for my presentation to the landlord about the kitchen. Would you take a look at it please? Any feedback would be much appreciated. Thanks, Mr. Creswell. So, as you can see, this is exactly what you need to include in the email. So you only email your teacher and the teacher, uh, and this would be the teacher that you're with on the day um, of the stand down. Uh, and the teacher will email you back with some suggestions. So as you can see now, if I just close that down, if I go to the email from Mr. Eaton. There's obviously the email I sent and he's replied okay and he's given me some suggestions here but again the reply should uh, it, you'll get a re professional reply anyway. So um, he says I should change the background color white is boring, change the font size face and color too and uh, add some animations and transitions to give it more impact that's obviously important and put some borders around the images to make them stand out more so that's good feedback there now I'm actually going to uh, you don't have to do every single thing that they tell you but I would try and change at least one thing that they suggest so what I do now is I close that down and I'm going to reply I'll just go back into there actually open that up and I'm going to reply and say thank you for the feedback I will make the changes straight away Mr. Creswell so there we are what they look for in your evidence is that you've taken screenshots of three emails okay but I'm going to show you how you do need to take those screenshots so I'm going to send that Okay, and what I need to do now is I need to open up Microsoft Publisher and you should by now know how to set up a document for screenshots. So I'm going to choose blank A4 landscape so I've got more room. Insert a header and I'm going to put Mr. Creswell. If I press the tab key twice it will go over to the right hand side here. 
and what I can do now is I can type in email activity one and then of course I highlight these go to the home tab uh, increase the size and make it bold then I'm going to click on to master page at the top again close the master page so I'm ready to start putting my screenshots in now the way that we do this is we go into and I know this seems kind of obvious but they want to see certain things in the screenshots so I go to sent items and I'm going to go to the email that I sent Mr. Eaton now what they look for is clear evidence that you've got a subject the person I sent it to okay and the carbon copy that you sent so the other person that you sent the email to the attachment and of course the body of text so what I'm going to do now is print screen go into my publisher document and paste that in just crop that well not crop it down but just resize it a little bit double click on it bring up the formatting options add a border and change the weight of the border also and that shows the clear email that I've sent including the skills that the examiner wants to see so I'm going to insert a page and I'm going to go back to my emails just oops I'm going to be opening that and I'm going to close this one down and then this time I'm going to open the reply that I got maximize that and because what they want to see is the email there and the reply that you got print screen and paste that into my document and just resize it a little bit and remember the reason that we do landscape is so that we can see the email nice and clearly when it prints because if it was portrait it would be in this area here and it would be quite small so I'm going to double click format it picture border weight four and a half and I'm going to insert a new page by right clicking on the current page and inserting a new one I'm going to insert a new one go to my email close this one down and in here now I'm going to finally click on the reply that I sent maximize that because what they want to see is kind of an email conversation so I'll print screen that and this is the final piece that's going to go on there double click and add a picture border which is black and change the weight to four and a half and those are the print screens that I need so remember you must include a subject into the subject bar you must send it to your current teacher on the day whether it's myself mr. Bennett mr. George mr. Eaton miss Olson Jones and you also need to include a carbon copy email sent to another uh, another teacher or uh, you actually probably the best thing to do is send a carbon copy to someone in your class so find out someone's email address in the group their school email address preferably and send it to them you must include the attachment because that is one of the main skills they're looking for being able to attach a document to the email and remember that your body of text must be professional in the way that you re uh, that you request feedback then you need to take a screenshot of the reply that you got okay then you must also take a screenshot of the reply that you sent back thanking for the feedback so those are the three things that you mu those are the three screenshots you must include and also that gives you an indication as to what you must include in the email